Hey guys, welcome back to the Project DIY channel. On today's project, we're going to put a backup camera in this 2007 Silverado. Let's get started. Two thousand seven Silverado. This truck does not belong to me, it belongs to somebody else. I'm putting this in for them. And they do have a uh, aftermarket stereo in it, but there's no backup camera. So we're gonna try to take care of that today. So here's the backup camera we're installing today. Got this from Amazon as usual. And the brand name is Xerox Club, whatever that means. I wonder if these uh, Chinese companies realize how their uh, names of their companies sometimes do not make do not make any sense whatsoever. So here's the screen, seven inch screen, and this comes with. All the cables, power cable, video cables, uh, power cable for the screen itself, several mount options with magnets and sticky pads, and also a suction cup. Alright, I don't think this will be too hard. Basically, we've got a camera that mounts to the license plate and a cable that runs from the back all the way up to the front and then we have some wiring we have to tie into the reverse lights back here so that the camera will come on when you go into reverse and my plan for routing this cable is there's a wiring harness down here not sure if you can see it let me adjust my camera a little bit right down here with a big large gr rubber grommet and that goes into the cab of the truck and that will come out under the dash and then we'll run that over and up to where we decide to mount the camera haven't uh, decided on that yet we'll probably just use the suction cup and stick it to the windshield so after I run that down under the dash out the rubber grommet and down there's a wiring harness that runs along the body of the truck all the way to about right here and then I'll have to climb under there and figure out where I'm going to route the cable from there but we'll go on back just a few more feet and hit the back of the cable. So I poked a hole through that grommet the wire down toward the bottom and here's that wiring on this I was talking about and that runs all the way to the back so I just attach that cable to that wiring harness and then we'll get, get it back there and get it hooked up wire ran from the front coming out the back here and we'll go ahead and get the uh, camera hooked up all right got all that ran got the camera hooked up we got the tailgate down here now we're gonna be pulling this tail lamp assembly out so I can get to the reverse light wiring. Alright, trying to figure out which wires for the reverse lights here. We've got the uh, truck in reverse. And we've got a couple of these piercing probes on a couple of the wires and I was assuming that the green wire was the backup light and it looks like I'm right let's see if I touch this where you can see it 10.7 volts so 
that's where the uh, voltage is coming to light the light. Now this other connection here is ground. If I touch that, you see the green light come on my meter. Zero volts, so that is the ground. So those are the two wires we're going to use to wire this uh, power wire up to the camera. connections made the wire ran down through the body to the underneath and I ended up instead of using this ground uh, I went ahead and used this other ground right here I think somebody's put in for uh, probably trailer lights and uh, so that's a good ground known ground so I just went ahead and hooked it up there so I'm gonna get this put back together and then we'll get this power harness hooked to the backup light harness. Alright, before we get too much further into this, let's test this. Got the key on, and flip it in reverse. Oh, let's see. Push the brake pedal. We go a little bit slow to come on but it's not too bad when you take it back out of reverse it goes off all right we'll get this wiring taken care of all tied up and tidied up and then we'll move up front and get the rest of it done all right got this all ran in here it's got it attached to the windshield. Wire running down around the dash. Out right here in behind the dash. And under where it goes out. Got him installed, we're gonna try it out. Start the truck up. In reverse. There's the backup camera. up the driveway there we go all right guys that's going to do it for this one hope you enjoyed this video maybe you learned something maybe you too can also put a backup camera in your vehicle and uh, if you've got something helpful from this uh, go down into the comments and leave me a comment let me know. I really enjoy uh, reading the comments from people who um, who got something from it. Also, uh, while you're down there, hit that like button. I appreciate that. It helps me out. And the last thing I think you should do is watch this video.